Welcome. welcome! So welcome to Butterbean and Fennel Rosti Bake. Really tasty, delicious, great for a centerpiece. We're gonna make a cashew cream, we're gonna fry down loads of kick-ass veg, and we're gonna bake it with some breadcrumbs on topping. This takes 30 minutes to make, it costs about eight euro, and it feeds four to six people. Okay, so first step, we're gonna start by making a cashew cream sauce. And very simple and easy, we have 100 grams of cashew nuts, and they go into the blender. blender. I've got 500 ml of oat milk, or non-dairy milk of choice. I'm gonna go with half a teaspoon of just garlic granules. We're gonna go in with half a teaspoon of black pepper. And finally, the juice of half a lemon. Not quite finely, because we got a bit of salt too. Oh yeah, not quite finely, okay. And PPPS. Uh, we're also gonna go in with a little bit of salt, probably, I'd say, a little less than half a teaspoon of salt. Lid on and blendy blendy! There we go. So we blended that for about a minute. So what you're looking for is there's no lumps of the cashews. The cashews have blended up and kind of released their fat to create this creamy, lovely white sauce. We've put the white sauce into a saucepan. We've got it in high heat. We're just gonna bring it to the boil and then just reduce it to simmer to help evaporate some of the moisture and end up with just a thicker, more creamier sauce. Okay, so the nature of a rosti is a lot of grated vegetables that are fried down. They're really, really tasty. It's super delicious. So instead of being there for ages with a grater, we're just gonna use the grater function in our food processor. It's much quicker and easier. First step, I'm gonna put my pan on a high heat so it's nice and hot by the time everything's grated. Uh, into that pan, I've got a tablespoon of olive oil. Meanwhile, into the food processor, I'm gonna start with a wooden parsnip. Okay, so we've grated all our veg. We need a full head of fennel, a full parsnip, and a full courgette. First step we're gonna do is we're gonna brown our onion. We've finally sliced up one full onion. Okay, so we fried in the onion for about three minutes until it started to go translucent. And just start to brown. So the big thing about a rosti is that all the veg are kind of charred and slightly brown, so they've developed a significantly more flavor. Okay, so into our hot pan, we're gonna start. I just put a little tiny bit more oil again, just to maximize charge. So I've gone with about one teaspoon, really. And we're gonna cook these in, I'd say, three batches of different vegetables. So we're just gonna add it into the pan. The big thing here is not to be lazy and put too much. If you put too much, they're gonna steam and they're gonna cook inconsistently. We want them to brown, so the key here is that it's less is more. And once again with a rosti, once you've added your veg, just add a decent pinch of salt, because that's just gonna help the cell walls break down. And literally, we're not gonna stir it, we're gonna leave it the bottom layer char before we turn it. Okay, so we've browned the last of our veg. So with ro rosti, as I mentioned earlier, it's really important it starts to brown and just develop that flavor. That's an indication of caramelization and maximum flavor yield. So what we did is we browned, we did it in three separate batches just to ensure that it all browned. And next step, we have one tin of butter beans, which we've just simply drained and rinsed. If you don't have butter beans, you could use any other type of bean, just mix them through nicely. Okay, on top of this, we've got our cashew sauce, which we did heat and it's kind of thickened up nicely. So it really smells fab. Spread the sauce through, just make sure it gets to the bottom of this dish and gets right the way through. Okay, we've mixed our cashew cream through and now we've got some breadcrumbs. We're simply gonna just sprinkle them over 100 the 100 gram of breadcrumbs. So be generous, this is gonna add variety of texture. Again, a nice crispy topping. So we've got some rosemary or oregano or any type of dried Italian herb. We have a little bit of oil that we're just gonna slowly drizzle across the top just so that it crisps. Probably about a tablespoon or two. Okay, we've preheated the oven to 200 degrees. We're gonna pop it in and just bake it, allow the flavors to come together and allow the top to go The crispy. top's gonna char in about 10 minutes, I'd say. Okay, our rosti's been in the oven for about 15 minutes. The top is looking brown, charred, and beautiful. And the whole room smells fantastic. Okay, so there it is, great centerpiece. Works really, really good. Uh, decoration tips, you could put fresh thyme on or anything like that. Here we it go. It smells fantastic, it really does. Nice simple veg rosti with butter bean. Really, 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 really nice, delicious. You could add a little bit of nutritional yeast if you like that as well, It'd be very nice. The smell is fantastic, the cashew green. Mm. Wow, it's lovely with the That's bread. really tasty. A lot of flavor going on. Lovely contrast to texture, you've got the crispiness at the top, you've got the beautiful, soft, creamy, delicious veg going through it. Great dish, really good. Great centerpiece. Literally took us about 40 minutes to make from start to finish. 
Uh, cost us less than nine euros and it's going to feed six people, so great dinner. Makes a great side too, if, that's, if we want something to end an accompaniment. Yeah, thanks for watching, thank you for subscribing, and sending loads of love. Cheers! Cheers. Bye!